Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. If you could not tell by the title, this is going to be a 2024 spring clean with me and it is the living room edition. As you could also see, the trees are blooming finally, the flowers are blooming, and spring is finally here, which means I need to go ahead and kickstart my spring cleaning. I'm going to be doing my living room first, and I will probably break up these videos by room. That way, I don't get overwhelmed, and I can really dedicate a good amount of time to each space. So in the living room, I will go ahead and kick this off with this closet. You guys know my issue with space and storage, and there's so much stuff in here. Every time I open it, um, I don't even know where to look to see what it is that I'm trying to find. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull everything out of this closet. I will then look through everything that I've got, see if there's anything that needs to be thrown in the trash or if it needs to be placed somewhere else in the house. Then I'm going to wipe down all of these shelves and get everything put back in a nice, neat fashion. When I clean these closets out here at the house, I get so amazed at how much crap I can actually fit in there and what all is in there. There were some plant food that I have been looking for for so long and of course it was in this closet. I just didn't want to go through it to find it. It just overwhelms me. It literally does seeing all this crap and if you guys have been here for a little while I just did a huge declutter in my office and I mentioned that I wanted this year to be a lot more minimalistic. I want to get rid of just clutter and things that just don't need to be here and this makes me feel good every little closet that I can tackle I'm definitely going to do so look at all of this stuff that was in there like that's that's just insane do I need all of these cleaners do I have multiples of things can they go somewhere else this closet is literally just like a Pandora's box I've got everything from crock pots to dog food to life jackets for the dog, to uh, cleaning supplies, you name it, it's probably in that closet. So it definitely did need to be gone through and cleaned out. I have a list that I have been trying to make over the last couple of weeks of exact things that I want to tackle with my spring cleaning. Every video is going to be a different room as I mentioned and then I'm going to do a video that's probably going to be dedicated to things like deep cleaning, my vacuum cleaners and my washer and dryer, things like that. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, if you need some realistic, real life spring cleaning motivation, then go ahead and subscribe before you leave today. That way you guys can just come back and visit with me again. Also, if you're new, welcome. Thank you so very much for being here. We have a lot of fun over here on this channel, so I would love for you to stick around and, you know, just hang out with us. Also, let me know in the comments if this is your first time here, if you feel comfortable doing so. But after I got everything pulled out of the closet, I did vacuum the floor and I got out these Centivia, Centiva, Centiva Clorox wipes. These are my favorite. These are like the coconut flavored ones. They smell delicious. So I went ahead and wiped everything down and then I was back to, okay, what all am I going to put back into this closet? How can I keep it minimal, but still keep everything that I need? And how can I keep it to where everything's kind of separated and it would be easy for me to open up this door and reach right for what I was looking for. So I decided that top shelf, it, it was a lot more sturdy and I just wanted to go ahead and get the crock pots and, you know, kitchen type things up there. That way I'm not knocking that stuff around when I'm trying to reach behind it for something else. So I went ahead and left that stuff on the top shelf and then just kind of filtered everything else through that little three shelf stand thing that I got from Walmart. I love those things, but they get warped really easy, especially if you set crock pots on them for a long time. Um, so I'll probably have to invest in another one of those soon. But as I was over here and getting this closet straightened out, in my mind, I was trying to think of what I wanted to do next as far as which room. And so immediately I thought, oh, the front porch is going to be good. And I always have a really good out come with those videos. Everybody, you know, needs different ideas and things like that. But I'm also in Virginia. It is March. And although it was like 75 degrees out today, it might snow next week. And I'm really not willing to put myself through that. Um, you know, just to have all the plants die that I put out there 
and all that good stuff. We all know how my luck is with plants, but I might do like a front porch prep clean with me and then include um, getting, you know, some of the weeds and things like that out. And then also the house, like I can spray the house down, get my front porch clean, and then here in the next few weeks, I can go ahead and decorate. So if that's something that you're interested in, let me know. But probably I will say the kitchen might be the next one. I want to go ahead and wait for the bathroom because I'm still waiting on a couple of things to redo my bathroom. So that video might just be like a spring clean slash mini makeover video. I'm really excited for that one. I'm chomping at the bit to put that little... A piece of furniture together that I've been teasing you guys with but everything went back into the closet and it looks so much better yes it still looks chaotic but it is a more decluttered and clean chaos if that makes sense um, and if anybody asks no that is not a carton of eggs I mean it is eggs but it's not really eggs it's eggs but they're filled with glitter if you know anyone that's Hispanic or if you yourself are, you kind of know that they have um, a thing for Easter and they love to like crack these on people's heads and things. So, of course, Reuben has a dozen of those. I think Mary Ellen has some downstairs too. I don't think we've, we haven't done it in like years and years and years, but I feel certain that we're probably going to break those out and do that this year. I'm also very excited this year for Easter because of Mila. Of course, she's not gonna be able to do anything, but I have started to get her Easter basket ready and I'm so stinking excited, y'all. I just can't even wait. So now I'm just going to go ahead and pull these tables out of the room. I'm going to pull the couch off of the wall. I needed to wipe down the baseboards and then just be able to vacuum back there really quickly and then get to my window to clean it. I don't know if you noticed, but I did not clean my fan, and that's because I literally just did that not too long ago, and I checked it, and it was perfectly fine, so I was not going to climb up there and do it all over again. It's good, but definitely go ahead and add that to your list of things to do for your spring cleaning if you have not cleaned your fans in a while. Mine get disgusting, and I just did that not too long ago, so they were pretty much good. And the windowsill, I thought it was going to be so much worse than this because we have a couple little holes in the screen and it always gets dusty. Of course, as soon as I open the window, Bodhi had to get his head in there. But um, <laughs> this is how uh, dirty or not dirty it was. It was literally just a really quick vacuum and then I took a damp cloth and just wiped that out before I hit the window. And I don't know why, but for some reason when I was cleaning the window... I felt like I'd never done it before. Like I felt like I'd never seen a window before. <laughs> I don't know why it was getting me all discombobulated, but I was like, where does that go? And how does that come? I don't know what was wrong with me, but we got it and it looks a thousand times better. I still haven't decided anything on this window yet, whether or not I want to get curtains or one of the really pretty, they're like the Roman shades you know, I don't know. I still haven't figured out what I want. And I'm not just going to start putting stuff up because I feel like it looks like a, a mental hospital in my house. I kind of like all of the white and clean. But when people come over, they're like, oh, <laughs> I don't have anything on the walls. But I want to wait, you know, until I know exactly what it is that I want to do. So here I am still struggling with this stupid window and Bodhi couldn't figure out why when I had the windows open and tilted in when I was spraying that stuff that it wasn't hitting him. <laughs> he's, he's not the smartest uh, crayon in the box, but he sure is cute. So we'll leave him alone. So it used to be in years past that if I started to do a window, then I would do all of the windows in the house at the same time. And that got to be so much. So I really enjoy doing this room by room thing. That way I don't get overwhelmed with the same tasks over and over again. It's kind of like doing all the baseboards in one day. Nobody wants to do that. I definitely don't want to do that. So I like breaking it up this way. So if you find yourself struggling to get through some of this stuff, try breaking it up by room like I did and see if that helps. I'm also curious to know how everybody else does their spring cleaning. Do you break yours up? Do you dedicate like one entire weekend to getting your entire house done? Can you do your entire house in one weekend? I feel certain that I could, but um, it would definitely take a toll on me. 
I do really appreciate having the ability to go to work, come home, do one room one day, and then give myself a day to, you know, rest and relax and then do another room. That way I'm just not getting so sick of it all. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, this, this works perfectly for me and I will always do it this way probably from here on out just because it's so much easier. My blinds really weren't that bad. I had just taken those blinds down and soaked and scrubbed them not too long ago, maybe like a month or so ago. So they really just needed to be wiped down with a rag and get all the dust off. And I don't know what was wrong with my vacuum. It just kept turning off. I don't think that the battery was about to die. It could have been, but um, she hung in there as long as she could, and it was actually just as long as I needed her. So I obviously was going to get the big vacuum out for the rest of the living room. I did think for a hot minute whether I wanted to push the couch into the kitchen and really just have the entire thing wide open, but I was like, you don't want to do that. So I did not do that. <laughs> so I just went ahead and put the couch back and the tables and lamps back. And then I really, really jammed my toe on the bottom of my couch, but it was okay. We had to persevere. Bodie gave it lots of kisses and I felt so much better. Um, but there's a really neat thing that I wanted to share with you guys. I don't know if you've heard me talk about my lampshades here but they're like cotton, you know, they're just like regular lampshades. They're fabric and they're dusty. And every time I go to like take a rag or anything to wipe them off, it doesn't work. Like it just puts more dust on it. So I saw somewhere where you can use this um, dusting spray like you use in your office, like on your keyboards and things. Look at that. I don't know if you can see the dust. I don't know if the camera's really showing it, but this is what they look like. They look disgusting, horrible, embarrassing, nasty, okay, in person. So I saw that that was a way that you could just like get all of the dust off and then, you know, they look all nice and new. So I decided I would go ahead and try that. I did have a can here in my office. So I just did, you know, short little strokes, little bursts of air from the can. That way it didn't freeze up on me and just rotated my lamp around and it worked so good. I was pleasantly surprised. I don't know why I had never thought of anything like that before, but if you've got lampshades, especially the ones with like the little pleats in them, get you a can of this stuff and just blow it out, girl. It looks so much better. I wish you could have seen like in person how gross these things were because I was flat out amazed. I'm, I'm, I'm finding out new things every day that I wish I had learned 20 years ago. So now I'm just going to go ahead and dust everything else in the living room. Um, if you guys are the type of people that go and look at cleaning videos or go and start playing a cleaning video and you don't really sit and watch, you just kind of clean along with it. I hope that me talking like this doesn't interfere or if you enjoy it, then I hope you enjoy it. But I normally just talk about odds and ends, this and that, just whatever's going on. And I've come to realize that YouTube does not like that because it listens to everything you say. So I have to be more aware of what I'm talking about. So I just kind of go through exactly what it is that I'm cleaning and what I'm using and anything like that that will help you just in case you aren't actually watching the video. If you're just listening, you can, you know, still get all the tips and tricks. But I'm going to go ahead and grab this rug and then I'm going to grab Bodie's bed and put that in the washer. In the beginning of the video, I don't think I mentioned, but I took all of the blankets out of the little table there. I don't know what you call it. I guess it's a table. And I put those in the washing machine. So those were done and I was going to put the rug and Bodie's bed in there. I just wanted to get everything as clean as possible. This vacuum cleaner, I didn't clean it out the last time that I used it. It was packed full of dirt and dog hair. I mean packed. So I cannot wait to deep clean these vacuums because they're going to work so much better, like so much better. So I knew that I was going to be shampooing these carpets today as well. So I kind of did like a slow vacuum, like a really deep, thorough vacuum, like as good as I could. That way it would just look a whole lot better and the shampooing would take a lot better. I don't know if that makes sense. If the shampooing would take a lot better. You guys know what I mean. I, I just felt like if the rug was vacuumed very, very well, that shampooing the rug would 
go better. I don't know. Just let me live, okay? That's just what goes through my brains. So I did get everything vacuumed and I know that I also need to reorder some of the filters that I've got off Amazon for this vacuum. I think the last couple times that I cleaned this vacuum out, I just washed out the filter and I was like, okay, you need to go order more. And I never did. So it's just like the little spongy ones that go inside. I think those hold like all of the, the mites and the dust and all that crap. Anyway, they stink. And you can definitely use them again. You can just wash them and then just let them air dry. But I just really think I need some new ones because they're just gross. So I got all of that vacuumed and then I decided to grab some pine saw and then just like a damp cloth to wipe this entryway. I did not want to get out the bucket and start a whole, you know, mopping bucket full of stuff just for this one little spot here. So I just went ahead and did that by hand. I apologize for my phone. Um, <laughs> I don't even know if you heard that. And then I needed to go around and clean all of these doors. They get so dusty and then with fingerprints and then because they're so light, anytime Bodhi, you know, puts his nose on something or his mouth or anything like that, it just gets really gross. So I wanted to have all of that wiped down. And of course I rinsed out my rag and Actually, I got a new rag. This is a different one. I got this one wet and put some pine saw on that too. I just love that smell. Like pine saw and bleach just really make me feel like things have been cleaned. Do you feel that way? Um, I love it. That's just what I grew up smelling was pine saw and bleach. So I did get the baseboards and I don't think I showed all the baseboards because that's kind of boring. But this little spot on my bedroom door. This is where Bodhi comes and puts his face and pops the door open. Like if we have the door shut, he doesn't like that. He needs to be in there. So he'll put his face, like his snout right here in this corner and pop the door open. So that was disgusting. I don't know if it's because he has like food on his mouth or I don't know. He's a dog. But we got that cleaned. Looks so much better. This is the product that I'm using in my shampooer. I really like this one. I think this is the second bottle that I have bought of this and I did find this at Walmart. It was not that expensive, but the smell of this one is really clean and it's really, it's not really strong, but it's a lot stronger than some of the other ones that I've used. So I decided to do my rug in like sections as well. I generally do this, but I did this in smaller sections this time. I wanted to focus more on not only getting the carpet saturated so that I could get it clean, but also not only making sure that like I left the carpet until it got dried, but I wanted to extract as much water out of this carpet as humanly possible because I just feel like any kind of dampness that sits in your carpets and the floors, it's just going to get musty and just stinky all over again. Like you just didn't even do anything to help the situation. So I definitely wanted to make sure that I took my time and got all of that out. I did go through two dirty water buckets. I think I only ended up showing you guys one. Um, I think I got on the phone as I was doing this stuff and then I completely forgot to film that. But I did go through two buckets, which makes me feel good because I really feel like I got so much of the water back out of my carpet. Um, I also need to deep clean this because as you can see, it just keeps spitting out little mats of dog hair. But this thing is a beast to deep clean. I've done it a handful of times and I know I need to do it again, so I will. I will probably include that in the vacuum deep cleaning, but I love this thing. Even though it's big and bulky, I do love it. I have thought about getting another one that's just kind of like vacuum cleaner size, but why? You know, this one works just fine and it's been good to me, so there's really no reason in spending extra money. If you don't have a carpet cleaner, this one is amazing. It's very well priced. I think this is in my Amazon storefront. Um, that is tagged in my description box. You can go and check that out. All of my favorite cleaning stuff is also on my Amazon storefront. Go check it out if you are nosy like me. But this is, I think, the second bucket that I got out. Um, full of nasty, dirty water. Oh, so gross. So now that all of that is clean, it's time to start bringing everything back in. The one thing I didn't do that I thought about was clean all of Bodie's toys. I might do that this weekend, but it just didn't dawn on me. So the 
blankets are done they are warm they're toasty they're soft they smell amazing and i'm just going to go ahead and put these right back in this little table here and then i needed to chom chom my couch i did deep clean this couch not too long ago i think you guys saw that so all this really needed was a you know once over with the chom chom and there was nothing really to spot clean. Sometimes Bodie will get something on there, but it was pretty good. So I didn't do all of that. I just chom chommed it up. And then I sprayed some Lysol on there. I got my rug down. Um, Bodie's bed was finished in the dryer. So I got that out. Everything looks amazing. So I'm just glad that I kicked myself in the tail today and got this done for you guys. Well, I didn't do this today, but... I'm getting this to you guys today, but on this day, I'm glad that I did it because I was dreading it. I really was. And, um, it just, it makes me feel better knowing that that closet is cleaned out. These carpets are nice. The windows are done and I can just move on to the next room. So let me know in the comments if you've started your spring cleaning yet, or if today's your first day as well. Thank you guys so much for coming and spending some time with me today, this is how everything looks. Even though it might look exactly the same, you and I both know that we did a lot of work in here today. Um, so congratulations to you if you have started your spring cleaning. But I gotta go, I gotta start planning my next video. But thank you so much for being here. I love you and I appreciate you and I'll see you next time.